the, the start of Meccano is in a way pre-Meccano when we were still students and that was in 1979. There was a competition in the Netherlands and we entered this with three students and we won that competition in 1980 and the next four years uh, we did as students everything we had, we had to do as an architect but officially we were no architects. We finished school, we became officially architects and then invented the name Meccano. So, Officially, Meccano started in 1984, but unofficially it's 1979. Mm, I remember starting, of course, in my student room, the office, but then we moved into this building because it was a little bit too much in my small student room. And in the 80s, uh, especially social housing was very bad and not on giving any attention uh, to it to architects. So we did a lot of that kind of designs in a, in a very innovative way. And then I said, okay, if I do housing, I also want to do public space. And then if we do, hey, now we have housing well done and a public space, but then I was interested in education to educational buildings. So in a way, the whole office is almost like this table built up on year rings of a tree. So every time we discovered something what society needed a new vision on, and we did it. I think what is the strength of Meccano, I call it often my uh, symphony orchestra. It's between 18 and 120. And we have architecture, and we have urbanism, and we have landscaping, and we have interior, and restoration, what's nowadays also very important, model making. We can even make our own movies, or uh, with this whole team, this whole family of Meccano, we look what is necessary for that commission, for that client, and we pick out of our team, hey, you are, and then together we make the music, what is necessary to make. What I like very much about the Meccanos <laughs> uh, is that we come from maybe 25 different countries. 40% is female, that's also quite unique, so we, it's, it's a very mixed society, at the same time also very Dutch. And for us it's very important uh, to work with this international and also partly very young staff, because that makes it for us more easy to understand the world and the necessities of the world. To be honest, a lot of the work of, of Meccano is very much loved by the public, but also by the academics. And I'm very proud of it that we can really combine the academics and the architects in combination of that it's really appreciated by, by the audience, because that often is not uh, the reality. It's so nice. I think that's really our task, to be like that. If you have you ever been to this very small chapel we made in the city of Rotterdam, it's, it's still lovely. I think it's now already there for 15 years and it's still perfect. Or even high rise, like the Montevideo building in Rotterdam was high rise housing. So we do all kinds of things, but it's inspiring to be not focused on just one subject. I know I'm very much aware that every architect has his or her own philosophy, but this is really the Meccano philosophy. Architecture is not um, autonomous art. You always do architecture with a client and you do it for other people, for other users. And you also do it in a very interdisciplinary way. So to be very well connected to consultants, to have a very good awareness what is needed in the society and what will be the future of the society. And all these th things, I sometimes say it goes through my head to our head of the Meccano people. And we give it back <laughs> and we bring all these things together and give it back as a as a design. Sometimes they ask us why Meccano does not have a certain style. I always say we have a style, it's an attitude, but we don't have a formal style. Because that would block me. But we always have in the, every project the same attitude. But what we exactly will making is always a kind of adventure or a surprise. And that's what I really like about Meccano and being an architect. <laughs>